over the years, bacteria have become more and more resistant to the common antibiotics that we are using today in modern medicine. The reason for this is, is that they are learning and seeing that these antibiotics are toxic to them and they begin genetically modifying themselves in order to become resistant to these drugs. If we look at figure one here, we see figure 1a shows the list of the most urgent threats of antibiotic resistance bacteria. In figure two, we can, in figure 1b, we can look and see how the drugs actually get into the bacterial system. So they start out out in the open into the cell and then they go in through either pouring or a specific channel. Now, the way they are resistant is either they are kicked out by an efflux pump, which is part of a bacterial evolution for antibiotic resistance. Now, if we look at figure two, we see that iron by itself is really important in biology. Every cell, there's only a few organisms that do not need iron in order to survive. But iron can be very toxic if it's not regulated correctly. It can precipitate our solution, and, and so biology has adapted to in order to tightly regulate biology, I mean iron. So if we look at figure three, we can see how iron is truly regulated in biology. So when a bacterial cell infects an organism, a phagosome is surrounding the bacterial cell by the, which is made by the organism. The organism then has such things such as NRAMP, transferrin, lactoferrin, all these kind of receptors and molecules that upregulate or downregulate the iron, take it up and get it away from the bacteria. So this basically takes the bacteria and puts it into survival mode. When that happens, it upregulates its iron receptors, which in order to do that, it gets it by sidereforce. So if we look up here at figure four, we see our research plan. So in order to, what we want to do is we basically want to trick the bacteria into taking in an antibiotic and killing itself. So with that being said, the way that we plan to do this, if you look at figure five, is through these molecules called sidereforce. So sidereforce are small iron sheet-lating molecules that are produced by the bacteria that attach to iron three plus and bring it to the bacterial cell. So now it's all about the drug that we choose too also. So if we look at figure six, we see that we have chosen the drug artisanate. This is a commonly used anti-malarial drug. So the way it works is if you look right there where it says peroxide bond, there's a oxygen-oxygen bond. When it goes inside the cell, it will break and create superoxide species, which are then toxic to the cell. So in order to first start, we need to synthesize the molecules. So what we did is we first made a linker onto DHBA, which is the Sidera 4 uc And what it does is it basically gives a little bit more flexibility for the drug. And we see, looking at the NMR and the mass spectrometry data, we see that this was confirmed that the reaction was successful. So we move on to reaction two, where we now conjugate the drug to the linker conjugate. Looking at the NMR and mass spectrometry data, we do see that this is confirmed that it was formed. So now another thing we are also trying to look at here in reaction three is brucella, brucella species, and we want to synthesize brucibactin, which is the sidereophore made by brucella, and no one has been able to synthesize this, and we are currently synthesizing it and trying to characterize it, but at this time we do not have a lot of data on that. Now, if we look at the cyclic voltammetry data on reaction two that we did, first we did an iron plus a DHBA run, an artisanate by itself run, an iron DHBA conjugate run, and then an iron myovactin artisanate, which was a standard from a paper. Now, if we look, we see that iron DHBA, it redu the iron three reduced to iron two, so we know that is binding. We see the artisanate had a reduction because the peroxide bond broke, so that's a good sign. Now, if we look at the DHBA artisanate conjugate, we see two peaks which coordinate with iron two, three plus being reduced to iron two plus and the peroxide bond breaking. 
at this time, we have concluded that these pro these molecules have been formed, and we are now moving forward into doing an antibiotic assay with bacteria. Thank you.